Hi friends, welcome back to the Moxie Skates YouTube channel. My name is Evelyn Ivy, and today I will be showing you how I learned how to slide on the furial in five easy steps. Let's start off with step number one. These are gonna be recommendations, not necessarily necessities. Step number two, we're gonna learn to step up onto the P-Rail, and that's just gonna be a one foot step up. Step number three is a two foot stall. Step number four is approaching the rail from an angle. And lastly, step number five is momentum. The more confident you feel, the more momentum you'll keep adding for a longer slide. Step number one. These are gonna be recommendations, not necessarily necessities. Let's start off with protective gear, helmet, knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards, a form of rail, whether it's a P rail, a rail, whatever you can slide on. And lastly, slide blocks, whether it's CIB slide blocks, Bigfoot, Wild Bones, disco blocks, there's so many out there. Just something that'll help you slide a little longer. All right, friends, so it's talking about step number two and stepping up to the P-Rail, there's gonna be two ways of doing that. Let's start off with the easy way. If you've never done this before, we highly recommend you step up close to a wall. So if you have a P-Rail and you're able to move it to places, put it close to a wall so it, you're able to find balance when stepping up to the P-Rail. So let's give it a try. You're gonna go ahead and step up, hold on to that wall, put your other foot up and jump off. Do that a couple of tries. So let's step up. You need to touch that wall, step back down. If you notice, I'm leaving my knees the same distance apart as my shoulders. So you don't wanna get too close, just because if you get too close, there's a chance that you might slip out from the left to the right, and you're gonna end up hitting your hip pretty harshly on the P rail or on the floor. So let's prevent all that and try to always keep those knees the same distance apart as your shoulders, if not a little bit wider, but never closer than that. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Step up and down. Now let's make it a little difficult. Let's not touch the wall. You can move your P-Rail if you want, or if you want to keep it where it is and have that wall as a safeguard, you can also do that. But just make sure you're keeping your core nice and tight to prevent any slipping from left or right, because it might hurt if you fall on your hip, <laughs> whether it's on the P-Rail or the ground, it's never fun. So make sure you're keeping those knees hip distance apart. You'll be good. So step up, step down. Now the goal here is you wanna to try to find that balance. It might take a couple tries. Up. Do that a couple more times. For me, oddly enough, it really helps to do the whole hand movement. I don't know if it might help you too if you wanna give that a try. Perfect. Now let's challenge yourself, Evelyn. How long can you stay there? Ah, that was a long one. <laughs> ah. All right, let's move to step number three. Step number three is stepping up with both feet onto the P-Rail. So what you wanna do is like we mentioned earlier, make sure you're keeping your knees hip distance or shoulder distance apart and hop. If you'd like, you can use the wall as support. If not, and you feel confident, go ahead and don't use the wall. For step number four, we're gonna be approaching the P-Rail from an angle. Now to start off, go away from the P-Rail, we're gonna start off with just a crack on the floor. Make sure you're not adding any momentum, just because if you add momentum to this, you might tip over, but 
get parallel with that crack. Turn your body and just make sure to squat so you can prevent from falling backwards. But turn and squat. Do that a couple times until you feel confident with your hips turning. Now that we tried it on a crack, let's try it on the actual P-rail. You're gonna be parallel and jump. Awesome, do that a couple times. And like I said, if you need to hold onto the wall, you can always do so as well. And step number five is momentum. What you're gonna wanna do is build that momentum little by little. So let's just do a small one. A little momentum. I got a little bit of slide, kind of touch the wall and work your way up more and more and then add more momentum, you're gonna be seeing that you're gonna start sliding a lot more comfortably. So the goal here is keep your core nice and strong, keep your knees, shoulder or hip distance apart. And what I used to tell myself is, imagine a string's holding you up from the top of your head as you're sliding. So, Oh no, hold on. All right, friends, and that's the five ways that I learned how to slide on a P-rail. Hopefully this makes you a little more confident to hopefully move it over to the coping at the skate park or just an actual rail at the skate park or any other ledge you might see. All right, friends, until next time. That's all for today, friends. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully this video will get you sliding a little bit more confidently and maybe so confidently that you'll want to invest in a rail because you know moxieskates.com does have some pretty awesome rails if you haven't checked those out. There's some with clouds and flowers and hearts and they're so adorable. Like I said, check those out. Um, aside from that, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you also have any questions or maybe you want to see how to build a P-rail or something, make sure to leave a comment down below. And lastly, to keep watching these videos and be notified, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you all. Until next time.